Today on Regis Philbin's Health Styles. Learn how Mr. Olympia, Frank Zane, and his wife Christine stay in shape. International model Susie Quelo Bono gives away her beauty secrets. The president's daughter, Patricia Davis, speaks out on vegetarianism. Sports fitness expert Ken Sprague shows how to test your fitness. And Dr. Joyce Brothers talks about compulsive behavior and diet and exercise. And now, here he is, Regis Philbin. Thank you very much. Well, today we're going to start our show with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Frank Zane. Uh, Frank, of course, is a three-time Mr. Olympia winner, and he is one of the greatest built men in the whole world. She's not bad either, as a matter of fact. Her name is Christine. They've written this book called Frank and Christine Zane, Super Bodies in 12 Minutes. To help me uh, get through this next segment, we're going to do some couples exercises with them. We're going to have my wife come on right now, Joy Philbin. Joy, would you like to come over here? Yes, yeah. Joy! Joy is wearing the flag of Albania. <laughs> Why am I out here like this and you're all bundled well, up? Well, because Frank is coming out. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to look bad in front of him. <laughs> well, but you... these are absolutely phenomenal. I know. Those people. Christine is tall, willowy, and very gorgeous. <laughs> a little intimidating. And Frank is, you know, like this. That's what you get for lifting weights. That's huh? right. I've never lifted weights. Well, you're going to lift <laughs> weights today. I'll tell you that. Are you ready to have this? I'm ready. Okay, you're sure now. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Joy's a little shook up. All right, let's bring them out right now. Frank and Christine Zane. Mr. Olympia. Nice to have you here. Hi, Frank. You all know Joy. Yeah, sure. huh? yeah, yeah. Don't they look great? They look fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I take this off, Frank? Yeah, Show you, you what I got? All right. I'm anxious to see since last time. We had the pose down last time. Actually, I read a little article in Muscle and Fitness about how Christine helped uh, Frank uh, train for the third Mr. Olympia crown. And they got into very heavy training. You look a lot heavier than the last time I've seen you. Yeah, I've purposely put on about 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. Training heavy. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you put on 15 pounds, huh? Yeah, heavy, heavy weights brings out heavy muscles. Right? Yeah, if you train with heavy weights and, uh, you know, eat more protein, you can gain size. Uh, actually, I can gain or lose any time I want. If I want to look leaner for television, I mm -hmm. more or less take my weight down. Mm -hmm. But now I'm building my weight up because I have some shows and exhibitions this summer to do. Are you a chemist, Frank, or were you studying to be a chemist? Or? In college, I did. Yeah. I was a chemistry major. Yeah, so you apply that then to the mm -hmm. science of bodybuilding as well. Right, well, it all comes in in nutrition, the food you eat and the supplements you take, right. vitamins. Well, you know all about that. How long have you two been married? <laughs> you are married, aren't you? What is this, an essential yeah, casting or something? <laughs> I think it's about uh, 15 years. Yeah, I'm 15 the one who forgets in our family. 15 years? Yeah. My gosh, they look like kids, don't they? Hello, are you still there? <laughs> Frank of Albania is standing there looking. <laughs> Just a child, <time>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. We're going to take some... Uh, you Joy, told me very you were going to wear shorts. I am not good. I don't have any shorts. Well, you've got nice legs, Regis. <laughs> look, just do the exercises. Let's, uh, let's get started, Frank, okay? <laughs> okay, let's start with one to uh, warm up the knees. We're going to do some leg work today because a lot of people could use leg work All right. being in different sports. Now watch what Especially she does. the backs of the legs. Mm -hmm. This one though is for the knee in the front of the leg. It's called one-legged top extension. And you don't really need any equipment to do this. And this is very good for somebody that has sore knees. Mm -hmm. Do look about muscle 20 of these. All you do is resist. Your legs don't look like that, Regis. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to touch them. <laughs> Leave Frank alone. Just so look. So are you restraining me? Yes, yeah, she's uh -huh. pressing uh -huh. down. Pushing down. You want to try it? I, yeah, why don't you try it? You see, this okay. is well, uh, the, the other couple. You try it with them. Go ahead. Okay. Don't push too hard, Frank. No, you, you shouldn't push too hard. Now, I'm going to go up <laughs> and you're going to... Oh, I... Do it slowly now. Use this the whole time. Actually, Joy has got good muscles in her legs. This is very nice well, legs. Well, it's, it's up here that, you know, if you're two pounds overweight, it goes right here. Where, to the bench? <laughs> to the... <laughs> you're hitting the bench. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, good. what else you got? Feel right? it right in the front of the side. Uh-huh, that's primarily where it's for. Then it's good to stretch that area out a little bit more. Yeah, let's all do some of these. One leg up stretch. One leg up. Really pull up good. <laughs> Ooh, this yeah. is very good to do before you run because... It really loosens up your knee area, mm -hmm. yeah. stretches the muscles in the front. Or if you play tennis, you should do mm -hmm. that before. Right? It's very good to do with the warm-up. Uh, hold each stretch for about 10 seconds. 
Uh, what does it mean if you can't do this? I mean, if you, if you can't balance, does that <laughs> mean? Really well, just hold on to something, but if you have trouble getting your leg back, you can just do the stretch more be, uh, so you can get more flexibility. Yeah. You know, a lot of people that train with weights aren't that flexible because they don't do stretching. Mm -hmm. and we notice at Zanehave, our place in Palm Springs where we teach, that a lot of runners, too, come there, and they're so stiff we can't believe it. The runners and the bodybuilders seem to be stiff. You can't stiffest. even sit cross-legged on the Is floor. Is that right? That's yeah. Not bad. So you know you have to include that in your Because program. they have developed mm -hmm. a certain set of muscles that prevent them yeah. from going the other way. Yeah. But by stretching, you get more complete development and more flexibility, too. Going to do another one for us now? Yeah. Uh, this one's a lot of fun. We call it the incline leg press with partner. My and you just lean against your partner. Well, why don't you lay down? I'll try it. Okay. And they push you away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's start together now. Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> now you've got to push me up. That's a dead weight. I mean, push I'm up. <laughs> Just a simple squatting exercise, but uh, let me do this one because I'm beginning too much. I lean back. He we puts both her lean feet back. On hers. I lean back too far. They lean back, and he squats. Now leaning back like this works the legs more directly, and it doesn't work the hips quite so much. Uh huh. I feel, I feel it's all in the thighs. Right. Exactly. I can just see where the pressure is. So That's he puts good. his feet on top of her feet uh -huh. and then squats them. Now. You want to do one? Yeah, All right, fine. Okay, yeah, you put your feet on front great. of mine, on top of mine. You don't need any equipment at That's home. right. You just mm -hmm. need each other. Now lean back. Don't drop me. I won't drop you. Yeah, now lean do back. I bend, Frank? Don't yeah, lean over. Just go down into a full spot. <laughs> okay, let's squat down. Lean back, you won't fall. Yeah. Just like that? Just like that. that. Now come on up. No, no. That's it. Okay, fine. And then now, I go forward. You, now one more. No, just straight one up more. the legs. One more. Come up, tuck your rear. All right, fine. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. Now let's do the calf exercise that I saw in your book. This is a great calf exercise, but you need a partner with you. Before you, you do any calf exercise, it's a good idea to stretch like this. Just uh, hold your heels in the low position. You can do one leg at a time. Just bring some blood into the area. It's also good to do this after the exercise, too. And you should strive for a pumping sensation in the calf muscles. These are very important muscles for running or jumping. If you run, you get shin splints. This is a good way to help prevent that. So let's duplicate what, what we saw in the book, Frank. Now, the idea is to sit on your partner's back yeah. right back here. So go ahead. Could you bend down a little, Christine? You want to go, go ahead. <laughs> You're next, Joy. Oh, that hurts just a little. Do you have any back problems, Christine? None at all. No, he's sitting right on the small of the back. Sit way back. It's on my hip. Way back. No. Not on my back, really. It's on my hip. But it's great for developing <laughs> the calves. And how much do you weigh, Frank? Oh, a little over 200, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a terrific exercise. Joy, you're next. I can see your legs are quivering. But I think I'm going to be sore if I do No, that. be silly. No, come on. You don't mind if Frank you and I get up there, do you? <laughs> okay, now do I just put the top, the, yeah. uh, my toes on the board? Right, right. You want to have Talk. the ball of your foot on the board. It's not as difficult Wait a minute, Regis, I'm not sure about it. Looks. It's not as difficult as it looks. Go ahead, it's not hard. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Go up and down on your heels. Your heels oh, really? go down. Go ahead. Heels go up and down. Don't bend your knees. Your knees. <laughs> I'm nervous up here. Don't drop me. Raise your heels. Raise your heels. Good, Joy. Not down. Not down. Joy, please. Are you doing anything at all? Yes, I'm working like crazy up here. 